Hey guys, welcome to another Zebra tutorial. Uh, this week I want to do something a little bit different um, because I want to show you something about the wave window. Um, well, actually, I'm, I'm going to explain this wave window more in the next week. But um, what I want to say for now is, I think you already know this, but you can load some waves uh, in this window right here. I can click on this name here, window, and I can choose uh, different oscillator settings. And I can choose from the uh, factory oscillators. And I have a few different options right here, and it also changes um, the waveform as you can see and if I make a change in a waveform for example I'll do this now to save it I can right click here I can choose save oscillator 1 settings sign tree edit um, so that's how to save uh, oscillator and waveforms and um, I found some cool waves on the interwebs and um, you can download those and use them in uh, Inside Zebra. So I want to show you uh, that this week and then next week we can talk about um, how to edit uh, waveforms and stuff like that. So if we go to the browser we can hit paste and you get this window and I'm gonna give you the link of course. Um, but this is the website adventurekit uh, dot, punt is Dutch, sorry, dot se um, or well, I'm not gonna read the whole link. I'll put it in the in the description. And uh, once you've downloaded those, um, they'll be in your downloads folder, I presume. Presume. And then um, where you need to place them is you go to. Let's see. You go to your Finder if you're in Mac, and then you go to the library, um, application support, and then UHE. I think and then zebra and then modules oscillator and here are um, the oscillator settings saved so um, I've made it my own folder here and then I've made a new folder there um, with download of waveforms and this is where I um, where I place the waveforms so that's um, what was it application library application support UE zebra modules and um, there you can uh, place the download waveforms and now when I go over here I can see those folders here and I have all these new fresh waveforms and you can see it if I scroll through them there are some pretty interesting waveforms in there like this one looks cool and I believe these are all sampled from some analog gear or something. Some of, some of them sound pretty cool. So now you can make your edits here and then um, resave them. I can do this, for example, set an LFO here. Now I can right click, save oscillator one settings, and I'll say your edit. Um, so that's it for this week, pretty short one. Um, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out adjustarsounds.com and zebratutorials.com. Also check out, um, a re extra reminder, check out the um, interview by Urs Heckman. Um, Urs, I think, if I pronounce it right. Um, he's the maker of um, Zebra, the father of Zebra, and um, he gave a, a great interview with ADSR, and he, and, and he has some pretty cool, interesting ideas. Uh, so check that out at um, ADSR, and I'll see you next week where I'm going to explain uh, more of this uh, wave window. So thanks for watching.